The Apostle Paul was not a follower of Jesus. He was living in a later generation. We have 13 letters that do go under Paul's name. Of these 13 letters that the Apostle Paul wrote, seven of them are letters that he actually wrote. There are six of the letters that, that Paul probably did not write. Seven letters that Paul really did write. The reason this is important is because Paul was writing before the Gospels. The Gospels were not the first books of the New Testament to be written. They were relatively late. Paul's writings were being produced in the 50s of the Common Era. In other words, about 25 years from the traditional date of Jesus' death, between 20 and 30 years of Jesus' traditional death. We can establish a relatively rough chronology for Paul's life. This chronology is going to be important for a couple of points that I want to make. The chronology of Paul's life is possible because in Paul's letters, he'll sometimes make an off-the-cuff biographical comment. Uh, three years ago, I did this. 14 years, 14 years later, I did this. So you get these biographical statements with years, and so based on that, you can reconstruct a, a chronology. If you know when he was writing, you can count backwards and figure out when what happened. Based on the chronology that is accepted by virtually everybody, Paul originally started out as a persecutor of Christians soon after Jesus' death, probably within two years of Jesus' death. Paul was a persecutor of the Christians. The fact that he was a persecutor of the Christians is interesting and important. If Paul converted in, say, the year 33, and he had been persecuting Christians based on what he heard about them in the year 32, that means Paul had heard about Christians and Christianity and about Jesus within two years of the traditional date of Jesus' death, probably about two years after Jesus had died. If that's the case, it would be worth knowing what does Paul know about the historical Jesus. Paul's views of Jesus are really important, as I think Bob and I would both agree. Paul does not talk about a heavenly cosmic figure, Joshua, or Jesus, who is crucified by demons in outer space, the way mythicists have often said. Paul talks about a real historical figure, Jesus, a Jew among Jews, a preacher teacher who was crucified by his earthly opponents. Yes, Paul thought that Jesus was a divine being who was also a human being. Paul does think that Jesus was a divine being who was also a human being. But he firmly believes that this divine being became a human being. 